Sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. If you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to lasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times. Go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. It, the Jews first, and then the Greek. For it, in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of a eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lust of their heart for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens, the heavens proclaim, proclaim the, glory the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out word to day and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Oh, oh. 
spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He entered, reclined at a table where he ate. The Pharisee was amazed to see what he that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you're filled with plunder and evil. You fools, do not, do not, the maker of the outside also make the inside. But as to what is within, give alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Here, Jesus gives some insight to like you know how to you know, get move on in a different way. Um, is to give. He said, "Give all." So that means you know, either give something like to the temple, but also give of ourselves in a, in a greater way of sacrifice, and this somehow releases some spiritual energy, meaning, you know, we, we get out of ourselves, we give, we focus on God more, God, you know, fills us and floods us with more. Today we have the beginning and end, thank God. This is the letter to the Romans, chapter 1, still verse 16. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Don't we all sometimes do that? You know, we're ashamed, as in, you know, afraid to speak uh, what we were thinking as far as people um, not believing or the next part of it, it is the power of God. You know, we believe that it's the power of God, the gospel, the word of God, and the scripture, and what we believe. The power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Wow, the gospel is the power of God for the salvation of everyone. We could hold on to that more and then, um, again, not to be ashamed, like St. Paul says, not to be ashamed of the gospel. And as you Christ, give us the strength to not be ashamed of the gospel. For an increase in religious vocations. May the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public authorities, leaders of nations and governments, and those entrusted with the welfare of their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are dealing with the scars of war, conflict, or violence, and all those who have died from the coronavirus, may the healing power of Christ restore their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community gathered here today, May the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in our daily lives and decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Rose Moore and all who have died in the hope of rising with Christ, may they soon rest in his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special attention you may wish to voice. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear and answer our prayers. Inspire us and again to be strengthened by the gospel and to, to live the life you want us to do. Transform the world and the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness that we have received this bread, we offer you the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the life, the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God.
in a similar way when someone was then to be put to challenge once more giving facts, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we proclaim the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to us, worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we are together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, our clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles. All the saints who pleased you throughout the ages may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord and the Lord, 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 Thank you. 
majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, that you make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever. And amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.